Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we're checking out Kali Linux 2021.3, the new release. I'm going to be going through some of the new updates to this release in quarter three, and we're going to be going through them fairly quickly. This won't be an in-depth review of Kali. Instead, we're just going through updates. If you need to check out an in-depth review, I do have one. I'll post it in the description below. The reason we have Windows up and we have Kali running in the background is because one of the new things actually has to do with the virtual box, virtual machine edition, and it's quite nice because by default, you can now drag and drop things from the host environment into the virtual machine environment. So let's just give that a shot. Let's just drag and drop and look at that. My image went right between the two and I can bring it back the other way. I'm gonna skip this file since I already have it on the desktop. And that's a really nice feature to have by default. And the big reason I'm using Windows in the background today is because it's the only one I have a desktop environment in. All my Linux setups don't currently have a full-fledged desktop, so I couldn't really show you this. You can also copy and paste things in between. So I have this second image here. I'll do a control C and in the virtual machine, do control V. Now, since we're using the virtual machine, I'll talk about the virtual box import file that you can get from Kali. This is a great thing if you don't want to set things up. They already have an image set up for you. All you have to do is import this image completely and everything just works right out of the box. One other question I get asked quite a bit is what are the default credentials when logging into Kali when using a virtual machine or their live image? Well, we can see here that the live boot and pre-created images like the virtual machine ones are Kali and Kali. So that's what you use to log in. I'll put a link in the description below in order to get this page so you can look at them as well. Van Grant is Van Grant Van Grant. And if you use Amazon EC2, you have Kali and the SSH key. You also have default tool credentials. So make sure to check those out as well if you're using some of the tools that come standard with Kali. Continuing on to the updates here, that's just one minor update. There haven't been much. Instead, they've revamped a couple things and let's just switch to full screen mode here. And also in this latest update, we do have some new tools in the network repositories if you need them. We have Berate AP, orchestrating a mana rogue Wi-Fi access points, Caldera, scalable automated adversary emulation platform, EAP Hammer, targeted evil twin attacks against WPA2 enterprise Wi-Fi networks, Host Hunter, recon tool for discovering host names using OSINT techniques, router key gen PC, generate a default WPA or WEP Wi-Fi keys, subjack, subdomain takeover, and WPA psychophant, evil client portion of EAP relay attack. Check those tools out if any of them sound interesting to you. Most of it sounds like gibberish to me, but that's all right. And another big release during this update is that the Kali Tools webpage has been completely redeveloped. You can find a tool by name. You can search through the massive repo of tools that they have available here in Kali for security and pen testing needs. This looks pretty great. There's a ton of stuff here. It's all sorted by the letter the package begins with. First, it's grouped like that. And then, of course, alphabetically in each group, it's sorted. So you can also use the dark mode now if you're not feeling the light mode, but we'll go back to light a little easier to see in my opinion. So we can use the search bar just to search for stuff real quick. I don't think they had this before. Let's search GDB. Let's see how well this works. Okay, you get your packages and binaries. Not too bad. Explains what all they have available of GDB, but that's really it. The redesign looks pretty good. I'll let you mess with that if you're looking for tools. And really the last big thing here with this release is going forwards from this release, release. OpenSSL has now been configured for wider compatibility to allow Kali to talk to as many services as possible. Legacy protocols such as TLS 1.1 and 0 are enabled by default. They say this is being done, so Kali's capability to talk to older protocols is in fact still supported, although that can cause some increased vulnerabilities on your own system. So it says, while this is not a configuration that would be good for general purpose operating systems, this setting makes sense for Kali as it enables the user to engage and talk to more potential targets. So what Kali is saying is, yeah, this might not make sense for your general user, but for people who are using it for pen testing purposes, it makes really good sense to have because that's a way to target vulnerable networks and protocols. But if you don't want this enabled by default, you can set it by Kali tweaks in the hardening section. So we'll check that out real quick because I'm sure there's gonna be a few of you who are just using this as a basic operating system and don't necessarily use all the tools. So in Kali, make sure to go up top, hit the terminal emulator, already have one running, and then type in Kali-tweaks. We're going to the first option, which is hardening. And now you can enable strong security instead by going down and pressing space. 
and hitting apply. This says setting OpenSSL configuration to Kali strong security. Do you want to proceed? Okay. And then put your password in for your root user. Kali by default here in mine and boom, you should now have your hardening as strong security and it looks like everything is set properly. So that's for you users who don't want to use some of the older protocols, we'll exit out of there. And the very last thing I'll mention about 2021.3 is that KDE received a update in versions. So you might wanna check that out if you're a KDE desktop user. And that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.